Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk about water picks versus standard dental floss. Which one I like more, what are the advantages of either, what are the disadvantages of either, um, and things like that. I take really good care of my teeth, I have my whole life, I brush two times a day, floss one or two times a day, and about six months ago I picked myself up a water pick, I've been using it every day as well, and I just wanted to give you my personal opinion, so let's jump right into it. Now I'm down here at the river today, this fun river I like to come down to with my dogs, play fetch so if you see me throwing a ball occasionally to keep them distracted that's what I am doing so like I was saying uh, dental floss serves has worked really well for me my whole life you know I use it two times a day I have a retainer on the bottom uh, behind my teeth and this works really well at getting behind my retainer um, the thing is with this is getting it fed through my teeth behind my retainer it's kind of a job. I usually have to use like a toothpick or some you know tweezers to grab it and pull it through. So that is kind of a con. Um, and I don't feel like dental floss gets you know in the gums on each tooth. It might get between and up in the corners of each tooth, but it doesn't get you know around the actual curve of the tooth. So I was in the market for a water pick, and I found this one. Nickwell had nothing but great reviews on Amazon, and it was only 30 to 35 bucks, so I purchased it. And you know, it has an re internal rechargeable battery, which is really nice. Depending on what mode you're using, a full charge will give you usually about eight to nine days if you're using it once or twice a day before you have to recharge the battery, which is a long time. The other thing I really like about this one is it being cordless, uh, you know, has really portable. I travel a lot and I can take this with me. The other ones that they have on Amazon, you know, have like a separate big reservoir and then a water line that runs and then you have to plug it into the wall. It's just a little bit of, you know, clumbersome and, and I don't like it. The advantage of that one is the water uh, reservoir is a lot larger versus the water reservoir on this one. So you can usually get the whole front of your teeth on the top and bottom and behind your teeth without having to refill the reservoir. With this one, I use the strong setting because it works the best, best to get food out of my teeth and all that stuff. Uh, and I usually have to refill it twice to go through the whole front of my top teeth, bottom teeth, and then on the inside. But that's not really a big deal. Now again, on this one, it has multiple settings. I use it on strong. If I turn it on here, you can see it shooting. It's actually quite a big blast of friggin' water. This thing really does kick out some water. Uh, now on soft, if I press the mode button down, you can see it just reduces the intensity of the splash. Uh, and so you can actually see the water line going down. It does suck through it pretty quick because this thing's putting out some water. And the last setting on this thing worth noting is pulse, where it goes between fast and slow. I'll just demonstrate that real quick. You can see that fast and slow. Boy, it's ready for ball. That guy will play ball all day, every day, till his legs give out. But uh, on to the advantages of the water pick. It's portable, it works really well. It actually feels better than dental floss because you can just get in there and go around each tooth and it just is a lot faster, works really well. I mean, especially my molars in the back when I've eaten steak or I have chicken in there, it just blasts it right out. Um, and it, it feels good. And it's like my doctor told me, it gets on top of your teeth, so it gets any food particles that are up there, which dental floss will not get. Now, one slight disadvantage is it's noisy a little bit. So, you know, if your loved one is asleep or something, it does, you know, as you can hear, makes a little bit of noise but if the door is closed that's not a big deal the other disadvantage i think is it makes kind of a little bit of a mess until you learn how to use it you have to you know hunch over the sink put it in your mouth and you have to have your mouth you know let it stay open slightly so it lets all the food and water drain out so it is kind of a learning curve uh, i'll just demonstrate it here real quick <laughs> normally i'd be you know, looking straight down so it, it just drops right out. But now another advantage I would say of the water pick is, you know, it is 30 to 35 bucks, so a little bit of money to buy it. But then once you have it, you never have to buy floss ever again. I haven't used floss in the last six months since, since I was switched to this. Um, it A little bit in the beginning, you know, because I had that retainer on the bottom, it was a little bit of a challenge to learn how to put this in my mouth from behind and shoot it out. But again, it just takes practice because it's a little different than a dental floss. But uh, 
it works better in my opinion. The other thing I like about this is you can fill it up with warm water. In the beginning I used ice cold and then I was just like, ah, it actually kind of hurt my teeth. So I always warm up the water on my sink, fill it up with, you know, lukewarm or even a little hot water. Feels really nice. And what my dentist tells me, he's a, you know, really pro advocate for water picks is that it massages your gums and is actually better for, you know, treating, uh, preventing gum disease and, you know, all that thing. So, uh, standard dental floss might get the food particles out between your teeth, but it doesn't actually massage your gums and, uh, and help them. All right. So on to the pros and cons of dental floss. You know, I can't, I can't hate on dental floss cause I've used it my whole life. Uh, it, you know, it's a lot smaller than a water pick. So if you just need to put some in your pocket, uh, you can take some with you. Um, but you know, if they break, it breaks a lot for me, sandal dental floss, cause my molars are really tight. So sometimes even getting them in there, it can break and then I have to pull out more. Um, it's just kind of an old method. So I, I would recommend still having some dental floss, you know, if you need to, to bring some somewhere and you don't want to haul a huge water pick with you. But um, I'm switching to my water pick permanently. So I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please give it a like. Again, I'll put a link below to where you can purchase this one on Amazon. You might be better off uh, getting the one with the big reservoir so you don't have to refill it if you don't want. But I think this one looks better next to my toothbrush versus, you know, a huge reservoir that, you know, because it's kind of ugly or you have to put in the drawer and take out every night when you want to use it. So that's why I went with this one. But hope, uh, you know, I was able to uh, shed a little light on, you know, which one I like better and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.